Today we're going to be looking at PicMonkey. This is a free online photo editing program that allows you to edit photos, add text, and create collages. If you click on PicMonkey.com, you will have several options here at the top. We're going to ignore these options for now and go straight to the collage. I'm going to click. When you click on collage, it takes you to a dialog box where you can select your photos. You can go over here and go to wherever your pictures are stored. You can multiple select. I'm going to pick four or five pictures here. Then you say open. You'll notice that they immediately go over here to the left side of your screen. Now, over on the right side, it automatically gives you a three grid box. You can drag and drop each picture individually to one of the boxes or you can click on autofill and that will just automatically grab three of the pictures and put them over here. Now you're far from done. You could obviously save it here if you wanted to but there's lots of options still to go. Let's go down to this second icon here. This is the layout button. There are several different choices here that you can use to create your collage. The ducks in a row We'll put them all straight side by side. You will skip the cards for now. The square deal will give you the option to have them in a grid. You have biggie small, which is one large picture and several smalls. Or the L elegant. You'll notice that we only have the three pictures in here right now, and then there's all of the boxes. For now, let's choose the biggie small option. And then we're going to go back up here to this icon where the images are. And let's go ahead and drop in another picture. If you slide them down below the two pictures, you can add other pictures. We'll see how we just put them here. If you decide you have too many picture options, you can click on the X and it will get rid of them. Here I have a picture that I've doubled, so I'm going to remove that one. Click the X again and it's now gone. Once you decide that you like the way the pictures are looking on your screen, it's time to look at a few other options. If you go down here to the little paint palette, this is the background. This gives you some pretty cool options. If you decide you want a more space between each of the picture, you can just make your spacing larger. Or if you want the spacing gone completely, just put it at zero. I'm going to leave a little space for now. If you decide you want the corners to be rounded, you can again, you can change that. But maybe you don't like all of that white showing behind the rounded pictures. You can click on transparent background. And now wherever you decide to drop this image, you'll be able to see the background of your screen. One other cool feature on this icon tab is the little dropper. If you click on this little dropper, and then you can just roll over anywhere on your picture and grab an actual color. So if you want your whole background to have the same green, or maybe this pink or say the yellow, you would just grab it from there and it will pick the exact color that you want. Now that we have our collage looking exactly the way we love it, it's time to save. We're going to go up here and click the save button. We're going to open up a new option here on the left. We're going to change our dimensions because 2000 by 2000 is just a little larger than I need. So I'm going to make it down to about 800 which is a great size for a blog. You click on Save to my computer. Decide where you want to actually save this picture. I'm going to call this Kids and Beach Picture. Click on Save. Now, some browsers are going to ask you if you're okay saving this as a JPEG. Of course, I'm going to say yes. You will have to re-hit the button to hit Save. This doesn't happen in Firefox, but it does seem to happen in Internet Explorer. Once you have that, it tells you your masterpiece has been saved. You can now access this image anywhere that you want to use a JPEG picture, or you can take it to the next step and edit this image to actually put text and overlays on there. We will do that in the next video series. Remember a very important thing about PicMonkey. Once you close this screen, you are no longer able to ever change anything on this image unless you start from scratch. PicMonkey is an amazing program, but it does have limitations. So make sure that if you want to do anything different with this collage, 
before you access it, you do it now. Once you're totally happy, remember to save and then you exit your screen. It will ask you if you are done and then you can close this out. Enjoy making collages. I look forward to seeing what you do with this material. Have a great day.